Good afternoon. I'm uh, Deputy Chief Joe Hewlett from the Southbridge Fire Department. Uh, just to give you a few minutes and an update of uh, some new equipment that we have here at the station. So through the CARES Act, we've acquired uh, what we call the Sterilis machine uh, over to my left here. Uh, what this machine does is take uh, needles, uh, what we call sharps, uh, and it essentially autoclaves them uh, so that they are sterile and then it destroys them into an, uh, a small byproduct that we can put right in the trash. What we're doing moving forward is making this available to residents of the community. So if you have no other means to get rid of the sharps that you have, whether it's from diabetic supplies and you're using insulin needles or lancets that you use to check the uh, sugar in your blood. So uh, what we need to see from the public and in order to put these in the machines is the sharps containers over to my right here. Uh, these sharps containers, uh, if you don't already have one, another option is this type of container, which is basically a large laundry detergent container. It's made of hard plastic. We cannot use milk containers, soda bottles, anything that's metal, we can't use those. So large laundry detergent containers, this one is just about 200 fluid ounces, and this is about as large as we can put in there. Another example of the Sharps container, this one is about a two quart Sharps container. So ideally we would like to see them in the Sharps container. If you cannot produce one, a large laundry detergent container would work as well. And if you have no other options, I can provide you with a Sharps container if that's the only option. What we expect to see in there is, uh, as I have here, generally the, the hypodermic needle with uh, a syringe on it is generally what uh, we're going to see. Another example would be the lancets where you uh, poke your finger to get a sample of blood uh, to check your sugar. Medication, uh, Bristajet, some people have medication that comes in this format. Many medications actually come in these boxes. Uh, if you're trying to dispose of medication with the needles in these boxes, please remove it from the box. So break it down just to the needle and the syringe and put that in the container. Uh, we've had a few people stop with large quantities of these boxes and they need to be broken down. Uh, and other medications come in another similar package. This is actually a hard pl plastic. Again, if you can remove the actual needle and syringe and put it into the uh, Sharps container, that works out best for us. So once this goes into the machine, uh, it goes into the top, I'll actually uh, show you the aftermath first. After the machine has done its cycle, this is what the material looks like afterwards. It's been sterilized and ground up into a safe format, and this bag actually goes right into the trash. I will actually start the machine. Uh, what this is is essentially, as I explained before, an autoclave, and then it has a grinding unit underneath. Once the, unit, once the material is sterile, then it gets ground up into that product. All right, the Sharps container itself goes right into the machine. Door gets closed and the cycle starts. It takes about an hour for the machine to process this material. As I said, it first uh, makes it sterile and then grinds it up afterwards. This is about the noise that you'll hear as the machine goes, and like I said, it takes about an hour. So uh, if you have no other means to dispose of sharps uh, in your home, uh, we do have the ability to take that in. Uh, when you come in, Please notify the duty officer before you bring any needles into the station so that we can do it safely. And they'll take some general information, just your name and telephone number. There is a document on our Facebook page that gives you some more of the information that I've talked about so far today. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the station. It's 508-764-5430, option three. When you come to the station with your sharps, one of the things that we also ask is that you limit it to two containers. Uh, a few people have already tried to bring a couple of years worth of needles that they've had stored in their house. So please try to limit it to two containers uh, at one time.